Acute lymphoblastic leukemia is a type of leukemia, a cancer of the white blood cells. Your child's body needs white blood cells to help fight infections. There are two different types of white blood cell. Lymphoid cells, also known as lymphocytes, and myeloid cells. Normally, these cells, which are produced in the bone marrow, repair and reproduce themselves in an orderly and a controlled way. In leukemia, however, the process gets out of control and these cells continue to divide but don't mature. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia, which is often called ALL, is an overproduction of immature lymphoid cells. This is when white blood cells that have not fully developed before being released from the bone marrow into the blood, called lymphocytes, fill up the bone marrow and stop it making healthy blood cells. As these cells are immature, they cannot work properly. This puts you at increased risk of infection. Symptoms of leukemia in children, such as bruising and anemia, are caused by the bone marrow's inability to make enough healthy red blood cells and platelets. Childhood leukemia develops quickly. It's possible for some or all of these symptoms of leukemia in children to be apparent. Signs and symptoms of ALL in children and babies can include pallor and tiredness. This is a result of anemia, unusual bleeding, unusual bruising, frequent and persistent infection, breathlessness, and coughing. A diagnosis of childhood leukemia is usually made on the basis of a blood test. This test will reveal low numbers of normal white blood cells and large numbers of the abnormal leukemia blood cells. Once this has happened and the doctors have the results, you'll be referred to hospital for further tests. A sample of bone marrow will be taken to confirm the exact diagnosis and often a lumbar puncture is performed at the same time. The initial aim of treatment is to achieve a state called remission where most of the leukaemia cells have been killed, allowing production of normal blood cells to resume. This stage involves the use of several drugs in combination and usually lasts between three and eight weeks, depending on how quickly you respond to treatment. Following this initial or induction treatment, there'll be further blocks of consolidation treatment, followed by maintenance chemotherapy, which can last up to three years. As well as standard chemotherapy, some high-risk children will also require a stem cell or bone marrow transplant. The treatment used in childhood ALL often causes side effects. Most side effects are temporary and can be minimized with good supportive care. The most common short-term side effects include nausea and vomiting, hair loss, reduced resistance to infection, bruising and bleeding, tiredness, and gut and nutritional symptoms. A number of children may develop persistent side effects as a result of treatment, sometimes many years later. These are known as late effects. These can include a reduction in normal bone growth, reduced fertility, a change in heart function, and a small increased risk of developing a second cancer later in life. Survival for ALL is highest in children diagnosed after one year of age. Until the 1960s, childhood leukemia was incurable. Today, thanks to improvements in care and sustained investment in research, the outlook for young patients diagnosed with ALL has dramatically improved. The likelihood of a relapse progressively decreases with time, particularly once maintenance treatment has been completed.